Okay, so I'm not going to come back. Now, in this video, we will talk about um, using brackets. So we will, we will essentially we will talk about using using brackets in calculation, and of course, in writing your essentially in your in writing your expressions. So, of course, in you, you you already understand essentially what is meant by calculation. So, for example, a calculation would be six times, uh, for example, it would be, for example, a calculation would be six plus seven times ten, right? This would be some calculation. Depending on the situation, it could represent anything. And of course, the same thing you can call it an expression, a mathematical expression, right? Now, using these brackets essentially, and 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 essentially, what is a bracket? A bracket is essentially is there are different types of brackets that you can use in mathematics. So, for example, there is the there is the there is something called there is this this type of bracket is called a square bracket this is called a square bracket there is this type of bracket which is called essentially parentheses this is essentially parentheses which is the plural for parenthesis meaning one of the this is called the parenthesis but because there is two of them, there is a pair of them, you would call you would call the parentheses. The, the, the singular you would write it as parenthesis. Okay, parenthesis is singular and parentheses is plural. Now there is another type of bracket which is called curly braces brace essentially this is called a brace and curly means for example you have you might have heard about curly hair meaning the type of the type of hair for uh, essentially women's hair if it's like curly meaning there is there is different essentially turns in them so that's called curly so and and because there is a there is a essentially a turn in here, so there is a turn in here as you can see. So it's called a curly braces. Okay. Now these types of these types of brackets can be used in mathematics. In in your essentially in your, but essentially if you're doing calculations or if you're if you're writing out some expression basically. And of course, this whole business of brackets goes hand in hand with the, essentially with the order in which you evaluate mathematical expressions. Meaning that, for, for example, if I write 6 times 2 plus 5 minus 2 divided by 5, so this expression you, you see in this expression there is multiplication there is addition there is subtraction there is um, there is um, div division right and and of course the first rule that that you need to take into consideration here is that um, you of course you you start evaluating your mathematical expressions from left to right. So that is left to right. Meaning you start from here and go all the way up to the end of the expression. You don't, you don't just simply start from somewhere, somewhere in the middle or starting from here. You have to start from the 6 and then keep going towards the right. So then your math, your mathematical expressions are, are, are 
the value are supposed to be evaluated from left to right and of course when you when you enter the same essentially the same expression into a computer into a for example into calculator like this the calculator is going to do this, the exact same thing meaning the calculator is going to actually apply the exact same rules that we are talking about because essentially the calculator has been written by human beings and these mathematical rules and regulations are set by humans the calculator has been programmed and written by humans so it, it does the exact same thing as we are supposed to do right and um, moreover um, moreover basically and so of course it's obvious and it's needless to say that when whenever you want to write a, a mathematical expression you would write your expression in such a way that essentially in the exact way that it's supposed to be evaluated meaning that now this one i will i will have to wait a little bit until i can tell you what i mean by this so now essentially when you have this expression over here the rule is that first of all you have to go from left to right and secondly the essentially there is there is multiplication there is division there is uh, addition and there is subtraction the first two things that you evaluate in your in your expression is essentially is multiplication and division that's the first two things and the second two things that you can that you will evaluate in your in your expression is essentially addition and subtraction right meaning that essentially in evaluating your expression multiplication and division have the same priority and then basically and then um and then and then essentially addition and subtraction have the exact same priority but these two have essentially have precedence over essentially over addition and subtraction precedence meaning they they precede so essentially meaning that these two that these two have a higher priority essentially compared to the priority that these two have right what that means is that essentially in a, in a, in in some expression in which there is multiplication division subtraction and um subtraction and um, addition first these two have to be evaluated and then essentially once you have evaluated all the essentially all the multiplication and all the division that you have in your expression then you will get to essentially addition and subtraction okay so what that means is that so so for example in this in this expression that i've written over here i have multiplication i have basically um, division right so now of course i cannot do both of them at the same time so then again you have to go from left to right so because this multiplication is on the left so i have to start from this which means that essentially six times two has to be evaluated first so six times two is the same thing as 12 and then the rest of the uh, basically the rest of the expression and now if i take a look at my expression i can see that i have addition over here i have subtraction over here and then division and we said that division and multiplication they take precedence over addition and subtraction so first division has to be taken care of meaning division and um, multiplication have have a higher pri priority right so first essentially this part has to be taken care of so i write this as 12 plus 5 minus 2 over 5 now let's say that for example i'm going to write this as 10 over 5 for example for the sake of simplicity 
I'm going to write this as, for example, 10 over 5. And then this again becomes, this again becomes 10 over 5. And now 10 over 5 is the same thing as 2, right? So that's a, that's a 2. And, and now you can see that we have addition and subtraction. And, well, of course, we said that addition and subtraction have the exact same priority. But now, but then how do I decide which one to do first? So then again, I have to go from left to right. So from left to right, first, this part has to be taken care of. Which means that 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 minus 2. And 17 minus 2 is the same thing as 50. So this, essentially, this expression has to be, essentially, this expression has to be evaluated in this exact manner that I showed you. Okay. Now, all of these rules that we discussed here, you need to take into consideration there is only one catch here. And the catch is that whenever in your, in your expression, whenever in, essentially in your whole expression, whenever there is any sort of bracket or parentheses or curly braces or whatever that might be, any sort of bracket, Whenever you see a bracket in your expression, first those brackets have to be evaluated. Meaning whatever there is inside the bracket, that has to be evaluated. And then once the, once the bracket has been completely worked out, then you will essentially get to the, to the rest of the things, right? Which means that essentially if, suppose that for example, the um, the expression that you had instead of, for example, this is, I don't know, let's say, for example, 6 times 2 plus, for example, um, 5, I don't know, 5 minus, I'm going to write this a little bit differently. Um, for example, 10 minus 5 and then put this inside the bracket, that's a 5 divided by 5, for example, right? So now, essentially, you see that I have multiplication here, I have addition here, I have division here, but then there is also a pair of brackets, or a pair of parentheses. So if there was no parentheses in this, in this expression, First, I would have to, of course, start from left to right. And from left, I would have to do the multiplication, meaning 6 times 2. But because the, there is a bracket in my, in my expression, I have to start from the bracket. So then what I'm going to do is at first I have to take care of this bracket, which means that I write this, essentially I will write it as um, basically 6 times 2 plus and then 10 minus 5 is the same thing as 5 over 5 divided by 5 right now again essentially again I start from the left but now there is no bracket which means that then now essentially we said that multiplication and division take precedence over addition and subtraction which means that I have to take care of either this or this one. But because I have to start from the left, I first I will take care of this one. So 6 times 2 is the same thing as 12, plus essentially 5 over 5, right? Now again, what happens is that um, essentially multiplication or division take precedence over subtraction and addition. So first this part has to be done. So this is the same thing as 12 plus 5 over 5 is a 1. And then 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Right? So that's that's one one more thing. Now there is there is also something else called nesting of brackets. There is also something called nesting of brackets. Nesting 
of brackets. So the same brackets that I just showed you, meaning the curly braces, the square brackets, the parentheses, you can nest them. Meaning nesting means essentially putting something inside something else. Meaning that, for example, 6 times 2 plus 3 minus, for example, four time, 5 times 4 divided by for example, 4 times 5, something like this. So you see there is nesting of brackets in here. There is this outer bracket here. Inside this outer bracket, there is this inner bracket. So there is nesting. And then there is again these outer brackets over here. And these outer brackets inside there is this these this pair of curly braces and then there is this pair of parentheses so there is nesting right and whenever essentially there is of course the same rules as still apply meaning that whenever there is brackets of any kind in your expression you have to essentially start with the brackets but when there is nesting you have to start essentially from the innermost bracket and work your way out into the outer outermost brackets and of course you always have to start you always have to move from left to right right so which means that essentially for example in this case i'm going to just leave this for the second run right Although I can do both of them at the same time, but just to not, not, not uh, essentially not to, I don't want to make my, make myself confuse. I don't, I don't want to confuse myself. So I start from this part over here. Just ignore this part for now. So starting from this part, you see that there is an outer bracket and inner bracket. So I start from the inner bracket. So I write essentially six times and then two plus three have to has to be done first. So two plus three is a five, right? Minus. And then now I can do the same thing over here. Meaning that I have my bracket over here and there is this inner bracket and this inner bracket. So I have to do the inner brackets first. So what is four times four, four five times four is a twenty divided by and then 4 times 5 is a 20 right and then this is essentially this one so I don't have to write this anymore now um, basically there is now there is essentially this bracket and this bracket so I take care of this one first and then I will take care of the second one so 6 times 5 is equal to 30 minus 20 divided by 20 is a 1 and then essentially 30 minus 1 is equal to 29 right so as long as you have understood essentially all of these steps over here you know how to work with um, essentially you know how to work with brackets you know how to work with nesting nested brackets and you also know how to how to evaluate the four basic operations in mathematics meaning that essentially multiplication and division have the same precedence have the same priority and so essentially these two multiplication and division have the same priority Addition and subtraction have the exact same priority, but then these two take precedence over these two, meaning that multiplication and division take precedence over addition and subtraction, meaning that essentially multiplication and division have a higher priority compared to essentially compared to addition and subtraction if essentially if they appear in the same 
if all of them essentially appear in the same expression right and the next thing to to note is that essentially you always from you always move from left to right right so whenever there is there are two things that have the same precedence there is you always essentially start from left and whatever there is on the left takes the precedence meaning has a higher priority meaning it has to be done first okay now in order to understand essentially this situation i mean in order to, for us to take essentially a um, a a practical example here let me show you something from the text so let's say that essentially mira name of a student she bought six notebooks she bought six notebooks each 10 rupees and there was another her sister Sima she bought seven notebooks again each 10 rupees meaning the exact same notebooks right now in this situation essentially what we want to do we want to find the and of course she she must have paid some some amount of money for the six notebooks Sima must have paid some amount of money for the seven notebooks we want to calculate the total amount paid by basically by both of them right so we want to find the total amount of money paid by both of them so one thing that I can do, I mean, just to, to make simple calculation, I know that Mira has bought essentially six notebooks. The unit price for the notebooks was 10 rupees, meaning for each notebook she paid 10 rupees. So Mira paid, the amount of money that Mira paid was six times 10 rupees which is essentially 60 rupees that is rupees 60 right rupees you can also write it this way so you can write it essentially rs 60 that's 60 rupees it's just the essentially the the currency the unit of currency in india and if you are from india you already of course know that and then there is Sima. She paid seven. She bought seven notebooks. So she paid seven times ten rupees. So seven times ten rupees is seventy rupees, which means that she bought. She paid essentially rupees seventy. Seventy rupees. And of course, since we want to 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 find the total amount of money paid by both of these, I I add these two amounts together. So that's 60 rupees plus essentially 70 rupees. That's 100, that's 130 rupees, right? So that's it's simple to calculate. Now, essentially what Sima did in, in, in order to calculate this amount, she's essentially what she did was that what she did was that essentially she wrote because essentially Sima um, because essentially Mira essentially bought six six notebooks each 10 rupees that would be essentially six times 10 plus and then Essentially, Sima, she bought seven notebooks each 10 rupees. That would be seven times 10, right? Now, if we, and we know that the, the amount of money that they paid, you already know that it's 130 rupees. Now, if I, if I take a look at this expression, I, 
Now this is essentially what I mean by writing out your expression. So based on the rules that we already discussed, essentially you have to write your you have to write your mm, expressions in such a way that when they are evaluated based on the exact same rules that we just discussed, then essentially whoever evaluates your expression comes to the right answer, meaning comes to essentially to what you actually meant by writing that expression, right? Now I show you again, I, I, I give you one more piece of information if you if you have not understood me properly yet. So, so for example, if I take a look at this expression, I can see that there is multiplication here, there is multiplication here. So if I start, if I move from left to right, I should first take care of this. So that's six times 10, which is the same thing as 60. And then I can take care of this seven times 10 is 70, right? And now this addition can be evaluated, which is essentially the same thing as 130, right? So you see that essentially the way that this expression has been written, and when I evaluate the expression based on the same rules uh, that we just discussed, we come to the correct answer, right? And now what what essentially what Mira did in order to in order to essentially to do the same calculation she has reasoned that since essentially both of the both of them have bought essentially the exact same type of notebooks meaning the unit prices for both the notebooks are are the same you can essentially first you can put all of the notebooks together right meaning that you can write for example one of them bought six notebooks the other one bought seven notebooks that's essentially 13 notebooks and then the unit price for the notebooks was 10 rupees so that's 13 times 10 which is the same thing as 130 rupees so that is essentially again the correct answer right of course this you would not be able to write if for example one of them bought notebooks for which the unit price was for example 10 rupees the other one bought some other type of notebook for which the unit price was for example 12 rupees that wouldn't if this was the case because these are not the same notebooks with the same unit prices you would not be able to essentially add them together. You could not do that, right? But because essentially they had the exact same unit prices, you can first add the notebooks together and then uh, essentially 13 becomes the total number of both books, notebooks bought, bought essentially by both of them. And then 13 times 10, which was the unit price for the notebooks, but makes essentially 130, right? So this also works without any problems. Now, um, now Sima's essentially Sima here argues that what Mira has done by this calculation, which is six plus seven, which is thirteen times a ten. She says, essentially, Sima is saying that the same calculation that Mira has written in two steps, it can be written in one step, meaning instead of writing 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, and then 13 times 10, I could simply write 6 plus 7, which is 13, times a 10, right? But then now there comes another student and says that no, she's, she hasn't done this because of the fact that now if I want to evaluate this expression, first I have to take care of this part because multiplication takes precedence over addition. And so this becomes essentially 6 plus 
7 times 10 which is 70 and that becomes essentially 6, a 76 basically which is not the correct answer because we know that essentially the, the total amount of money that they paid for the both of them essentially paid for the notebooks was 130 rupees not 76 rupees that's what I mean by writing your expression correctly what you meant what you meant to write was that essentially what you meant to write was that essentially that six plus seven have to be added together first and then the 13 has to be multiplied by 10 but then the way that you've written your expression means that first seven has to be multiplied by 10 and then the result of that has to be added to six which essentially is not what you meant to say so you have to write exactly what you mean to say right otherwise you 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 get essentially to the not to the correct answer right so that is essentially all about um, writing your your expressions meaning using brackets and and of course this expression if i were to write it correctly this expression over here if i were to write it correctly i would have to write it this way right so if i put a pair of brackets essentially over here this means that because essentially the bracket wherever it might be it has to be evaluated first and then the rest and then essentially the rest of the expression can be evaluated six plus seven has to be added together first which means that this is 13 times a 10 which is the same thing as 130 which is the correct answer so this is what you meant to say and that is the way to write it okay now in the next video we will talk we will take a couple of examples and talk about them in order to basically use all of the rules that we learned here in practice thank you